Hey guys, it's me, ChocolateColors26, and today's video is going to be tips on holding your dwarf hamster. Dwarfs tend to be very fast, so it's um, a little bit harder to handle them, um, unlike a stingray, which is fairly easy to handle. So I'm going to be giving you some tips and different ways to hold them to keep them still and from trying to jump out of your hands and run away. Now there are a couple of different ways of picking up a dwarf hamster. If your dwarf hamster is more of a faster dwarf and they maybe might not like to be handled as much and they don't willingly climb onto your hand, you can use different types of objects. You can use a um, clean mug that you might not use and after you're done using it make sure to wash it out before you um, try to use it. Or you can use an object in their cage, a hut, or maybe a bendable bridge, or even a tube you can use to pick them up. All you really have to do is set the mug, cup, or object, or whatever down in the cage somewhere, find some room, don't squish them. And then when you're done um, holding them in the cup, you can just set the cup down and let them jump out of there. Um, using the cup, you can easily let them climb into it like so. Pop-Tart obviously likes to come out of the cage and then slowly pick them up and then you can take them to some type of playpen and let them come down and play. That's a really easy simple way without having to have any contact with them um, and you can use almost anything to transport them like that. Another way would be using the cupping method. Um, this is for maybe a dwarf that's more tame so I like to get Pop-Tart up onto this bendable bridge and then I just simply put my hand down and he climbs right onto my hand and then I can lift him up and I can grab my other hand to cup him and hold him so he's safe on my hand so he can't try to jump away if you have your hands nicely cupped because it's protecting them and then you can just set them back down like so which is a really great way. So the last method is very, very easy and simple, and this is for maybe a dwarf that likes to explore more so around. They don't like to sit still like this. Put them on your hands like so, and then let them walk across your hands if they want to. And this just gives them a chance to explore. Um, just slowly move your hands one in front of the other just to keep them walking onto um, your hands and so that they can't fall. Now, um, dwarf hamsters are a little bit harder to hold, I find, um, because they are so small, they're not as big as a sea, and definitely not. And so, they, and they like to climb around more, they're a lot hyper, um, so they do like to run around a lot more, so it's a lot harder to hold them, because if you're trying to go put them somewhere and they're climbing around everywhere like this, it's a little bit harder, but with some practice, you can get them to maybe sit still. Try holding a treat in front of them or giving them a, treat, a big, large treat to try chewing while you hold them to keep them distracted from moving. I really like the cupping method because this is great to get them used to being carried around and going places in the movement so that um, once you've gotten them to get used to getting into the cup, you can then try with your hand. Um, so this is a really great tip for when taming and when you say you want to do bathtub bonding or you want to try taming them and you want to do it in the bathtub, make sure there's no water obviously, then you can use the, a cup or something to transport them into there and then you can practice um, cupping them and holding them, getting them used to your hands. Um, that way they'll slowly calm down and be a lot easier to hold.